if you have some type of talent or some type of dream, there's always people there to really help you achieve that. And that's what I really like about this country. If people see talent, they want to help you. And that's unique, you know. My name is Futsum Zena Selassie. I'm a runner. I run for Hoka, Aune Aune, and Northern Arizona Elite. You know, I come from a family. We're a uh, Coptic Orthodox, and Coptic Orthodox is very similar to Greek Orthodox. It's very, very humbling religion, and we follow very strictly. You know, my father's a priest, and the church is the community. It's good, it's good to be part of, uh, part of community. You know, I come from a third world country, Eritrea. Eritrea is 26 years old. It fought a 30 year war with Ethiopia from 1961 to 1991. In terms of the culture in Eritrea, family is everything. Family is very important. You grow up around uh, your cousins and your uncles and your aunts. Everybody's working outdoors and around town, and so everybody kind of gets to know each other. Growing up in the area, the one thing I remember the most is, you know, the friendship. Uh, friendship I had really helping each other. The Eritrean people fought for 30 years to gain independence, and unfortunately, in Eritrea, there are the tension with Ethiopia uh, makes people nervous. You know, a lot of people flee away from the country to make a better living for, for them, their family. My father came to the United States, America, in 2003. And he lived here for about three years and got his citizenship, and um, that was able to get his family here. For Futsum, he was in middle school when he came to the United States. I think he was around 13. At that age, you still have great memories and great relationships and friends that you leave uh, behind. So I think that was probably very, very difficult for Futsum. There's a language barrier. There's a culture barrier. It's tough, man. It was hard. Coming to the United States as an immigrant, especially as a teenager, it can be so confusing, right? You can feel lonely, you feel like you don't fit in. I'm very thankful for so many people in my life that made it you know, a lot easier. This is Maasha, uh, and me and Maasha have been friends since I've been here, and Kev from here. We, when I first moved here, he was, he was the guy who was helping me out with class and things like that. I mean, I really don't, I, like, I don't know how to explain it. You know, I, was, I was at school for like seven hours and not really talking to anybody. And coming from a culture that we, we spoke all the time, coming here and being in a place and not talking for seven hours, it was probably one of the hardest things you know, I had to go through. For any immigrant, it's always a transition uh, assimilating to a new place. And for Futsum, running was definitely something that helped him kind of assimilate uh, to the country. Well, I started running in seventh grade. After that, I just joined the cross country team and uh, never looked back since then. My first encounter with Footsome probably came when he was in middle school. My um, weight coach from track still taught at the middle school and came to me one day, says, I got this kid in gym class in high top tennis shoes, just killing everybody. When I was in eighth grade, uh, my gym my gym teacher bought me shoes. You know, doesn't know me. He's just you know, a gym teacher. He saw that, um, you know, I like to run. Bought me his shoes. The family came to open house. That's the first time I met his father. And of course, uh, they didn't speak any English. Um, he was kind of leery, having joining the group to begin with. But after we had conversed back and forth, um, he says, "As long as you treat him as like your son." He has no problem. Oh, there he is, right on time. After we had that first conversation, we built that bond, and through the four years, it just got closer and closer. Me and Chris Rick Stover had, um, you know, had great four years of high school, and we still stay in touch. <laughs> I'm very happy to have him in my life. Hey, Bob. <laughs> Hello. What's up, man? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Sit down. Oh, Man, I'm going to tell you about that.
I've had some state champions before, had some really talented runners before, but a person like Footsom only comes around once in a lifetime. Footsom now moving on his outside, 100 meters to go, the crowd's going wild. The successes he had came essentially right away. Marcus Worth here with the 3200 state champion from North Central, Futsum Zenazalasi. When Futsum started running in Indianapolis, people were like, where, where is this kid coming from? Futsum Zenazalasi looks as if he is going to win another state title for Futsum. his second. Just progressed you know, three more state championships in track, four time state championship in 3200. It was just awesome. From there, obviously he went on to college. I attended to Northern Arizona 2012. We had a really good team. I was, you know, I was, I was very fortunate to run for Eric Hines. All he expected from me was to give it, you know, 110%. If, if I'm doing that, he was really happy. There was no, there was no other pressures. He was the leader of his team throughout the years, kind of really matured and became the number one guy. NAU coming on big at the end of this race. He didn't win every race but he was in the top five consistently at the NCAA Cross Country Championships, which is very, very hard to do. His senior year was amazing because he was able to lead his team to a national championship. This is gonna be between Northern Arizona, Stanford, and Syracuse. Oh, man. To be honest, if I don't run, usually my day is very unproductive, so running does help me. When I go out and run in the morning, you know, I feel very accomplished, I feel very positive, uh, and that's what I really like about the sport. He's an extreme competitor. He was a very smart racer, but he knows his own body too, which is important. He's a great runner. I mean, you know, he trains a lot, he works hard and now he's found a great fit with the Hoka Northern Arizona Elite team. He was very excited, but he's still like getting used to, you know, his new coach, his new teammates. Going from you know, college to a pro, the hardest part for me was the competition, you know. You know at this level, everyone's good, so you really got to be on your A game. What I like about running the most is the community, uh, the people. You just meet a lot of very humble and great people. The main goal, hopefully be on that 2020 Olympic team. I'm gonna honestly work day in, day out to achieve that goal. He's still young in his career. As an athlete, the sky's the limit. I love my life. Running professionally, I'm not taking this opportunity for granted. And I obviously want to make the best out of it.